All right. Good evening, everyone. It's another Thursday. Tonight is Thursday Night Live. Yeah, hey. Every Thursday, we have this worship service at 7 p.m. So it, this is not the usual prayer gathering that we're going that we're doing. So this is a worship service. Kaya ngayong gabi nito, mga kapatid, we're going to talk about one topic, mga kapatid, that I feel is very, very important right now sa panahon natin na ito. But before we proceed, mga kapatid, I just want to make a survey, conduct a survey. Uh, kasi we're more than a month into the quarantine. Ma ano na, lagpas isang buwan na tayo. And as you can see, my hair is getting longer. <laughs> Humahaba na, hindi pa ako nakapagpagupit. Pero medyo, ano na eh, medyo, uh, medyo uncomfortable na ako ng konti. Konti lang naman, pero I'm cool. Yeah. Kaya gusto ko lang mag-conduct ng survey. Uh, kung magpapagupit na ako, o hindi muna. Tatapusin ko na ba itong quarantine na ito bago ako magpagupit? Or somewhere, sometime uh, within the quarantine, kailangan ko na rin magpagupit? So, if you have an answer, type in your answer dun sa comment section below. Eh, <laughs> sabihin nyo, Pastor, magpagupit ka na? O kaya, Pastor, okay pa. Wag na, wag na muna magpagupit. Ayan, depende kung ano yung gusto nyo yung sagot. Type in your answer dyan sa comment. And then, <laughs> malalaman natin yung sagot. On Sunday, kapag nagkita-kita ulit tayo, malalaman ninyo kung ano na itsura ng buho ko. The same or uh, nabago ba? Kasi kapag nagpagupit ako, ibig sabihin nun, uh, uh, mak makikipagsapalaran ako. Kasi we don't have any professional barber here in the house. Papagupit ako either kay M o kaya isa sa mga kambal o kaya kay David sa bayo ko o kaya kay Sandy. Ayan, <laughs> ayan, kaya tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Ayan, kaya, uh, kaya o oh, magano na lang ako. Uh, hintayin ko na lang matapos tong quarantine. Yung pagpapakulay ng buho, huwag nyo nang pakialaman yan. Kasi talagang hindi na ako nagpapakulay ng buho, mga kapatid. Ayan, uh, yung gupit na lang. Ayan, yung pag-uusapan natin. Alright, so comment below. <laughs> Sige, okay. Ngayong gabi ito mga kapatid, meron tayong pag-uusapan na importante para sa akin. That, that we want to understand ano yung dapat na meron tayong relationship. And I want to, I, I have entitled our message this evening, Vital Connection. Ibig sabihin ng vital, important, basic. Ito yung mga importanteng dapat na kinukuha. Like for example, a vital signs para sa isang pasyente o para sa isang tao na nagpapa-check up, kinukunan siya ng mga vital signs. Kasi importante yung mga yun, basic yung mga yun, so that we can determine kung ano yung health ng isang tao. Kaya ngayong gabing ito, pag-uusapan natin ano yung vital na connection. Ano yung important, basic na connection dapat na meron tayo. And definitely, I'm going to refer to our relationship with Jesus Christ, anong klaseng relationship dapat meron tayo. But before we proceed, mga kapatid, let's worship the Lord. Let's uh, tune in our hearts to Him. Let's uh, sing with our band tonight as we worship the Lord. So before we start, uh, I just want to share a verse from the Bible. It says in Psalms 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for your rod and your staff come. So right now, the season that we are facing, we should not be afraid. God is with us. He's our rod. We hold on to Him, put our trust in Him, and uh, give Him all the glory. So let's declare as we sing that we are not afraid.
All right. We thank the Lord for that wonderful song. We bless the Lord. We continue to give praise to our God. We lift Him up. We glorify His holy name. Father, You are great. You are wonderful. You are holy. And tonight, we give You praise and glory. As we are gathered here, Lord God, we pray that Your presence will be among us, Lord God. Have Your, have your way among us, Lord God. Teach us, enlighten us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Sa mga panahon na ito, na meron tayong pinagdadaanan na... Uh, pandemic. There are people who are, uh, they seem like they're closer to the Lord. You know, dumadami yung mga nananalangin, dumadami yung mga nagko-quote ng mga verses, dumadami yung mga nagpa-pass on ng mga positive uh, sayings, quotes. Definitely maraming gustong mapalapit sa Panginoon because of this pandemic, mga kapatid. Kaya they make this prayer request, mga kapatid. Pero I'm sure, I'm sure, every one of us who makes a prayer request would like to have an answered prayer. Amen. Diba? Sino naman ang purpose, mga kapatid? Kaya tayo nananalangin because we desire for God to answer. We desire for God to give us an answer related to our request. Ang minsan nga, ang hinahanap natin, yung answer na specific, na to, yung talagang are directly answering our request. Ngayong gabi ito, mga kapatid, I want to point out this one passage. It's in found is John John 15 verse 7. Nang sabi doon, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. I'm very sure na ang gusto ng Lord, bawat uh, prayer natin, sasagutin niya. Iga-grant niya. That's what the Bible says. That's what this passage tells us. Whatever you wish, and it will be done. Siba? Yung mga tipang, wow, ang gusto ng Lord, ask whatever, kahit na ano. Pero eto mga kapatid, merong very important point itong passage na ito that I want to point out ngayong gabi ito, and dito iikot yung pag-uusap po natin. You see, verse 7 has a context. Uh, John 15, verses 1 to 8, yun po yung pag-uusapan natin. Actually, if we're going to uh, really find the context, uh, hanggang chapter 13 dapat tayo. We will go back up to chapter 13. Pero, uh, we don't have enough time to talk about everything. Kaya, 15 verses 1 to 8. Yung po yung pag-uusapan natin. Let's read together. Ang sabi dito ni Jesus, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, He prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Ngayong gabi ito, mga kapatid, let's talk about this passage. Kasi, Jesus likened himself to a vine, to a, uh, to a uh, vine, grape vine. And ang sabi niya, the Father, our God the Father, is the gardener. Siya yung nag-aayos ng lahat. And ang sabi niya ganon, uh, uh, yung, mga, yung mga branches na nagbe-bear ng fruit, kinakat ng gardener. Yung mga branches that bear fruit, pinuprune. So, pinuputulan din, mga kapatid, pero uh, magkaiba ng result. Yung isa, tinatanggal na ultimately. Bina, uh, inaalis na. Pero yung isa, pinuprun. Ibig sabihin, tinatapyasan lang ng konti, 
so that that branch will bear more fruit, magiging mas fruitful. Now, dito mga kapatid, makikita natin na importante that we are connected. We have this connection with our Lord. He is the vine, we are the branches, ang sabi doon. Ang sabi pa nga niya doon, apart from me, you can do nothing. That's one of the famous uh, verses that na, na, lagi natin nadidinig mga kapatid. Pero I want us to understand, ano ba yung, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng connected o connection na dapat meron tayo? Kaya bakit sinabi ni Jesus, apart from me, you can do nothing. In this case, mga kapatid, importanteng malaman natin ito. It is not what you know that matters. Instead, it's who you know, who you are connected to. Importanting makita natin yung sarili natin, we have this vital connection with our Lord. The word vital, as I mentioned earlier, it means of utmost importance. It's fundamental or basic. Napaka-importante nito mga kapatid. This, this passage is not just about who, uh, who is attached and who is not. Kasi madaling ma-determine yun eh. Are, am, I in the, am I in the Lord? Am I with the Lord? Or am I not with the Lord? Siguro yung madaling i-draw yung line pagdating doon. Nakikita natin kaagad sino yung malapit sa Lord, sino yung hindi. Kaya lang, merong isang, uh, I would say, dangerous scenario. Uh, it may seem like Yung mga tipong, it may seem like. Yun ang medyo mahirap. This passage actually is about who is truly attached and who is make-believe attached. Yung bang, eh, yun talaga nakakabit at yung mukhang nakakabit lang. Are you listening? Di ba? Yung mga tipong, there are people who grew up believing that they are Christians that they are connected to Jesus simply because uh, when they were when they were uh, babies they were baptized in a Christian church or they are attending a Christian church right now diba yo okay they're doing religious activities they're doing religious exercises now kung ganun rin lang mga kapatid Para bang, yun yung, yun, yung tin, yun yung binabanggit ni Jesus, yung mga branches that do not bear fruit. Uh, kasi kahit nasabihin natin, ya yeah, totoo, you may have been baptized in a Christian church. You may be attending a Christian church. For all we know, baka mamaya o ma-attend ka ng cell group. You're attending other church activities. You're reading your Bible. Hello? Di ba? Kaya lang, that's not the point of it all. Lahat na mga iyon may, may, may seem superficial. They may seem you are a make-believe Christian. Kasi, eto ang hinahanap ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Just like what we read in John 15, ang sinabi doon, ang, ang taong totoong naka-attach sa kanya, they bear fruit. Merong fruit. Now, the fruit being mentioned here is the character. Yung, yung pagkatao ng tao. Yung bang umaayos ba? Nagiging maganda ba? Yung kanyang ugali. Nagiging okay ba siya? The way he converses, the, way, uh, the, the words that come out of his mouth, the way that person thinks, may nababago ba? Yun yung fruit. Uh, we are talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Merong similar yun do sa, sa Galatians. Merong binabanggit doon that we're growing in that area, mga kapatid. Kasi you may be an active church member. You know, you may be a religious person. Kaya lang, if your character is not changing, you're not growing, you're not developing in Christ-likeness, may problema tayo. Ang tawag ko doon, mechanical make believe ganun lang it's not you are truly attached hindi ganoon ang nangyayari kasi mga kapatid kailangan kailangan makita natin sarili natin nagkakaroon ng pag-aayos 
as we are attached to Jesus, naaayos yung pagkatao natin. Hindi lahat ng disciples ni Jesus na bago. Take a, take a look at Judas Iscariot. He's been with Jesus for three years around, around that time. Pero siya yung hindi siguro na ayos. Well, according dun sa nabasa ko, he has not he has not developed a a a, a group na aalagaan niya, iti disciple niya to become closer to Jesus. Uh, hindi rin umayos yung takbo ng isip niya until the end. Kaya nga mga kapatid, importante makita natin sarili natin growing. Now i relate natin ito doon sa prayer, mga kapatid. If we want our prayers to be answered, we need to find ourselves being truly attached to our Lord Jesus Christ. Otherwise, there will be no answered prayer at all. In another part of the Bible, ang sabi doon, the prayer of a righteous person avails much. So meron kala, kinalaman yun mga kapatid. Yung bang, are you being right with God? Are you in a right relationship with God? Kasi kung hindi, para bang, yeah, you you're you're doing you're doing something, pero it's not it's not resulting into something good kasi nga medyo merong hindi ayos. Merong kailangang itama. Kaya kailangan itama natin. yung relationship natin sa Lord. Nakikita ko sa TV, mga kapatid, merong kinukot from the Bible. It's in Second Chronicles. Nang sabi doon, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. Y- 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 nakikita nyo siguro yon. Pinapalabas sa TV yun. Uh, it refers to uh, God healing our land. Pero it's not just about healing. Merong din kila, kinalaman yun doon about repentance, about turning back to God, restoring our relationship with Him. Kasi ang sabi doon, uh, if they seek my face and ask for forgiveness, meron kinalaman yun eh. So God will forgive our sins and heal our land. So importante yung part na yon. It's not just making our request known, it's making our hearts right before him. It's making our lives, our being right before our God. Kailangan maitama. And the only way para maitama iyon is by being connected to our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the source of nourishment for all the branches attached to Him. Sa Kanya nang gagaling, yung, yung character niya, yung heart niya, yung spirit niya, maipapass on sa atin as we are attached to Him. Uh, para, bang, para bang ganito, mga kapatid? Diba, uh, ewan ko kung napapansin niyo to, especially with those with long-standing relationships like, like yung mga mag-aasawa. Yeah, uh, lalo na yung mga mag-aasawa. Mapapansin mo, the longer you stay together, yung ugali ninyo, yung takbo ng isip ninyo, nagtutugma, nagpapareho. Why? Kasi you spend time together. Nag-uusap kayo, nag-meet yung minds ninyo, uh, you come up with a common decision, uh, tapos yung, yung mga likes likes nung isa, nagiging likes mo na rin, Dati ayaw mo hanbawa ng isang type of food but, but, but because gusto ng asawa mo yun na simulang natikman mo pagkatapos unti-unti na gusto mo na rin nagiging pareho kayo because you spend time together you are attached ganun din sa Panginoon as we spend time with Jesus as we remain attached to Him yung ugali niya yung isip niya puso niya napupunta sa atin. Nagiging ganun tayo. Kaya doon mo malalaman if a person is truly attached to the Lord or not. 
Are you really a branch of the grapevine or you're just making believe? Some, some people, mga kapatid, might think so. Kaya lang, I want us to check ourselves. Am I growing in Christ's likeness? Ah, meron, merong mga iba na para bang I, I, I've encountered some people like this. Yung bang, they want to go to church. Tapos they're, they're already in a hurry. Kasi they will be late. Ayaw nilang malate. Pagkatapos yung mga anak, uh, ayaw gumising, ayaw bumangon, yung mga tipong ganyan. Yeah, church pupuntahan. That's good. They want to bring their family to church. Pero habang tumatagal, yung mga tipong uh, ayaw magising, biglang uh, babatukan yung anak, mumurahin yung anak. Ano ka ba? Bumangon ka na, mag-church na tayo. Eh, may mga salita nang hindi magaganda lumalabas sa bibig niya. Ah, uh, yeah, maaari maganda yung 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 pupuntahan ninyo. But the way you treat your child, hindi tama. Are you growing in Christ likeness? Hello. You may be reading your Bible. O kaya yung tipong uh, you may be uh, having your devotions every day. Pero yung bang nababasa mo napupunta sa puso mo na ayos ba yung yung katangian mo or medyo mo ang malayo ah uh, ang sabi ng iba crisis reveals the character of a person some say some even say ah uh, Crisis develops your character. Whichever is true, ay apal pal pal ko sa akin parehong tama yun eh. Crisis reveals to us our present character. But at the same time, crisis also develops our character. Remember, do sa binasa natin kanina, God the Father, the Gardener, prunes the branches that bear fruit yung bang meron ding meron ding pagtatapyas uh, the person still goes through some difficult situations some problems meron din pa rin siya na encounter ng mga trials pero iyon yung mga nakaka-develop ng fruit sa kanya nakaka-develop ng Christ-like character sa kanya Kaya dito mga kapatid, pwedeng sabihin natin that I am attached to the Lord. Pero the way for you to check that is to check your character. I-check mo mabuti. Tama ba? Ah, okay. Hindi lahat. Hindi lahat. Ang sabi ni Jesus in Matthew 7 verse 21, not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord. It's not in my outline. Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Wow! Hindi lahat ng tumatawag sa Kanya, Panginoon, Panginoon, ay makakarating sa kaharian ng langit kundi yun lamang sumusunod, tumutupad sa kanyang kalooban. Ejo, ito dito natin makikita mga kapatid. That's why I want to encourage you, check yourself. And then, kung ano yung mga kailangan ayusin, ayusin. Uh, meron ano eh, meron tayong active participation. It's not just that you are allowing it's not just you are letting God come into you. Yung bang tipong passive ka lang tapos si Lord lang yung gagawa. Hindi lang ganoon. You need an active participation in changing yourself in in molding yourself. Yung bang kaila ilapit mo yung sarili mo, yung ikaw mismo mag-exert ka ng effort. 
uh, that you're going to make the necessary changes, you're going to make the necessary improvements para umayos ka. You're letting God, but at the same time, pag may sinabi sa'yo ang Lord, eto anak, baguhin mo to, eto anak, ayusin mo to, you're taking an active participation na magpapaayos ka talaga. Yes, Lord, aayusin ko po yung sarili ko. Gagawin ko po yung magagawa ko para maging maganda na po ang ugali ko. The way I converse, the way I think, magpapaayos na po ako. You need to have a very conscious effort para mangyari yun, mga kapatid. You get nourishment from Jesus. Pero yung nourishment na binibigay niya, gagamitin mo so that you will bear fruit. Are you listening? Alright. Sige. Uh, para bang, I don't want us to make Jesus merely as our Savior, pero we're not making Him our Lord. Dalawang magkaiba yun. You want to make Jesus your Savior. At the same time, you have to make Him your Lord. Actually, hindi mo pwedeng paghiwalayin yung dalawang yun eh. They go together, hand in hand. You cannot just make Jesus your Savior without making Him your Lord. You cannot tell Jesus, Lord, iligtas mo po ako. Pero ayoko pong magpabago ha? Ayoko pong alisin yung ugali ko. Ayoko pong baguhin yung mga ginagawa ko. Hindi pwede yung ganun. Kailangan, if you want to make Him your Savior, you also need to make Him your Lord. You cannot be saved if you're not going to make Jesus your Lord. Ang sabi ni Pablo, mga kapatid, in his letter to the Romans, ang sabi niyang ganun, If you confess with your lips, Jesus is Lord. So, kailangan tayo mismo, we will make Jesus our Lord. Confess Him to be Lord. Kailangan magpabago tayo sa Kanya. We, ne we need to let that happen in our lives. Yeah, at maganda yung nagpupunta tayo ng church. Maganda yung umaaten tayo ng online church. Maganda yung nagbabasa tayo ng Bible. Maganda yung nagpe-pray tayo. Tama yung mga yon. Pero there has to be a submission of ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus. He is the branch. He is the vine rather. We are the branches. Branches lang tayo. He is the vine. Kailangan connected talaga tayo sa Kanya. Yeah. Some disciples of Christ are fruitful because they are vitally and spiritually connected with Christ. Vitally and spiritually connected with Christ. Alam niyo? Uh, habang tumatagal yung mga crisis kagaya ng ganito pinagdadaanan natin ngayon the more we need to find ourselves being connected with our Lord hindi dapat humihina kundi dapat lumalakas tumitindi Amen Amen Kaya I want to encourage you Stay connected. Remain connected with our Lord. Have that vital connection. But some are fruitless because they are only externally and mechanically attached to Him. Wag sanang ganun. Hindi tayo pwedeng ganun, mga kapatid. So, two main things I want to share with you. These are two quick points. Number one, be fruitful. Do some work, mga kapatid, so that you can be fruitful. Uh, para sa isang vine, para sa isang tree, naghahanap tayo ng bunga. Kagaya ni Jesus, uh, nakakita siya ng isang puno. He looked for fruits dun sa puno na iyon. Ganun din. If you know a person is a Christian, you're looking for Christianity in that person. Diba? Diba? Para bang nata-turn off tayo kapag sinabi niya, ay, born again daw siya, pero hindi naman pala. 
Kasi ganito ugali niya, pero ganito naman pala ginagawa niya. Ganito pa rin naman pala ang mga inaatupag niya. You know, we're looking for Christianity in Christians. Kaya, if you're saying you are a Christian, brothers and sisters, let Christianity grow in your life. Lumago ka, kapatid. Now, and if you remain unfruitful, if you remain unchanged, after all this time na akala mo nakakonect ka, ang sabi sa Bible, mga kapatid, sabi sa John 15, the father, the gardener, will chop that branch off. Aalisin niya. Di ba? Ibang all along, akala mo, yung pala hindi. Yung tipong akala mo, may relationship kayo, yung pala wala. Hello? Di ba? Akala mo, kayo na, yung pala, hindi. Kaya kailangan malaman natin, ano ba ang totoo? And importante para malaman natin na tama, totoo tayong naka-attach sa Panginoon is that we bear fruit. Nagbubunga tayo, mga kapatid. Uh, kaya importante dito that we allow God to to give us nourishment and we let that nourishment go through us and we develop in that nourishment. Pangalawa, mga kapatid, so that we can bear fruit, we need to abide in Christ. The word abide means uh, you are under the authority of somebody and you are very willingly obeying that authority that's abiding when we say abide in Christ ibig sabihin ito talagang you are obeying Christ in your life the nourishment he passes on to you ginagamit mo so that you will bear fruit nandindihan nyo ba? so abide in Christ Ang ginamit do sa New International Version, the version that I used earlier, is remain. In other versions, ang ginamit na word is abide. I think that's a, ve- uh, that's a more appropriate term. Abide. Kasi it, it connotes being submissive to the authority of Jesus Christ. Kaya importante ito mga kapatid, na makikita natin sarili natin growing in obedience. The more, the more years, the more time we spend with Jesus, the more we become obedient. The more we become submissive to Him. You may not expect a, a young Christian, a young believer, to have a mature, a mature outlook. Kung mga ano pa lang naman, siguro ilang buwan, ilang linggo pa lang siya sa Panginoon. Pero you would expect na meron na siyang mature understanding, meron na siyang mature approach in life, the more he spends time with the Lord. Yeah. Kaya kung ba, dekada na binibilang ng, uh, ng buhay mo sa Panginoon, taos, you haven't, you haven't had much fruit yet. Kapatid, I encourage you, magpatuloy na tayo sa Panginoon, magpalago na tayo sa Lord. Importante magpalago tayo sa Lord. Uh, so that we can abide, so that we can remain in Christ. May binanggit dito, sa passage na ito, ang sabi dito, As what, And my words remain in you, as whatever you wish. Two things. Una, we have to med- meditate on the word. Not just read. Uh-uh, not just read the Bible, but meditate the Bible. Ibig sabihin, ev- let the teachings of God that you will see, that you will find in the Bible, the commands of God, the heart of God that you will find in the Bible, you make it a part of your, your character. Make it a part of who you are. When I was a young believer, nagkaroon ng challenge sa amin noon that we read one chapter a day of the Bible, starting with the New Testament. So I took on that challenge. Uh, sa umpisa nung, nung, nung pagbabasa ko, like for example in Matthew, I would, I would write the date when I started. 
Oh, okay. So, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Pipilitin ko talaga, mabasa ko one chapter a day. At the end of Matthew, Matthew 28, dapat nabasa ko siya in 28 days. Kasi 28 chapters yun eh. Well, for some time, nakakomply ako. Nagagawa ko yon One chapter a day. But, ang naging problema ko, ganito. Nabasa ko lang. Hello? Hindi ko naman naintindihan eh. Ang, ang point ko lang, mabasa ko. Kaya pag tinanong ako, sasabihin ko, Opo, nabasa ko po. Yung ba? Tipong ganun. Pero hindi lang yun, mga kapatid. Mabasa mo, and then, maintindihan mo, at maging bahagi ng buhay mo. Yung salita ng Diyos. That's meditating on the Word. Letting it become a part of your system, of your mindset, of your lifestyle. Kailangan ganun na. And then pangalawa, commune through prayer. Ask. Sabi ni Jesus doon, ask. And how can we ask? We pray. We commune with God. Now, prayer should not be mechanical. Yung mga tipong, you just utter words, pero you don't mean a single word that comes out of your mouth. You commune. Ibig sabihin ng commune, ibig sabihin talaga meron kayong heart-to-heart conversation. You have that intimate time. May, may personal time. You get to know uh, who God is, and then you let God into your life. You commune with Him. You, 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 you pray to God as if you're opening yourself up to Him. Letting God see what's inside your heart. Allowing Him. Although He can do that, pero ang gusto ng Lord, yung bang, yeah, bibigyan mo siya ng permission. Kaya sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus do sa Revelation, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He will just keep on knocking. And he, he, can, he will only just come in if you will open the door for Him. So, in communing with God, ganun mga kapatid, you commune with God by letting Him in to your life. Yung magkaroon kayo ng intimate time. Sometimes words will not be enough to truly convey what we want for God to do to us or for us. Kaya lang, our hearts will be able to convey that. Pwede hindi natin masabi, pero yung heart natin, naintindihan ng Lord. Our hearts can cry out to God, even without words. That's communing. Commune with God through prayer. So yun yung sinasabi ni Jesus, doon sa verse 7. Let His words be a part of your life and let prayer be a way of communing with God. And in that sense, mga kapatid, dahil naiintindihan natin yung puso ng Panginoon. Kaya, yung binang, binanggit do sa passage kanina, ask whatever you wish, kasi naiintindihan natin yung heart niya. Alam natin kung anong gusto niya, at alam ng Lord anong gusto natin. It will be done for you. That's the promise. Mga kapatid, it is my prayer that God will answer all our prayers. Pero I would like to encourage you. Have yourself connected. Have that vital connection with Jesus. Connect with Him. Use this time. Itong, itong naka-quarantine tayo, nasa bahay, karamihan sa atin. Use this time to commune with God. Have your family devotions every day, every day or every night. Have have that personal time with God every day. Now, uh, gamitin mo tong time na to to develop your relationship with God so that you will bear much fruit. At this point in time, I want to pray for you. And as we uh, after after we pray for this message to come into our hearts. We will also be praying for uh, our our other concerns, especially related to COVID-19. By the way, uh, we thank the Lord dahil tomatas yung bilang ng mga recoveries. Thank the Lord.
we thank the Lord for that. So let's, let's come before our God. Let us pray. Our Lord, Heavenly Father, we continue to come to you, Lord God. Your lesson na napag-aralan po namin ngayong gabi ito. Let this be a part of who we are. Na maging vitally connected kami sa inyo. We are the branches. You are the vine. We get our nourishment from you. Kaya Lord, tulungan mo po kami, Panginoon, that we will, we will remain connected with you. Not just mechanically, but vitally, spiritually, magiging connected po kami sa inyo. And help us to bear fruit, Lord God. Mabago ugali namin, mabago buhay namin, character namin, yung temper namin, Panginoon. Maging maayos, Lord God, according to Christ's likeness, Lord. Father, tulong mo po ang bawat sa amin, maging submitted sa iyo, Panginoon. Kapatid, I encourage you, live a life that is submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ. Obey Him. Obey Him. Can you make that commitment right now? Tell the Lord, Lord, I am here to commit myself to you. I will obey your word. Reveal to me your word. Reveal to me your plan. And I will obey. Tulungan mo ko na tumugon sa kalooban mo, sumunod sa iyo said that prayer, I believe in my heart, God will enable you. God will help you. Just push forward, kapatid. Just push forward. Grow. Grow. Hallelujah. Let's continue praying. Father God, as we continue to pray, we lift up to you our concerns related to this coronavirus, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil uh, gumaganda na yung bilang ng mga recoveries. Uh, we pray, O oh Lord God, that you will continue to enable our doctors and nurses and other medical practitioners uh, cure those who are, those who are uh, ill, those who are infected by this COVID-19. We pray, O oh God, that they will receive your healing, O oh Lord God, that more and more and more will recover, Lord God, that the number of deaths will 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 be so low, almost zero, if not zero na, Panginoon, in the next few days, Lord God. And we pray, O oh God, more and more will recover, Lord God, and no more infections, Lord. We pray kung meron man, Panginoon, konti-unti na lang hanggang mag-flat, mag-flatten na yung curve, Panginoon, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, mangyari po ito before April 30, Lord God, talagang makita na significant improvement, significant development, Panginoon, na talagang the, the whole nation of the Philippines will rejoice. Ganon din sa ibang bansa, Panginoon, we, we pray, oh Lord God, that all the nations infected by this coronavirus will experience the same, Lord God, that the that the curve will flatten, Lord God, that none will be infected anymore, and there will be more and more recoveries, Lord. Father, we even pray, Lord God, for our government well, officials. We pray, O oh Lord God, that you will give them wisdom and, and, and uh, help them in implementing the right things, Lord God, in, in, in helping our people, in helping every citizen, Lord God, we pray, O oh Lord, lalong mapaganda, lalong mapabuti yung service ng government po namin. And thank you so much, Lord, because people are people are uh, coming together, nagtutulong-tulong, Panginoon, para mapuksa, para magkatulong-tulongan against COVID-19. Thank you for these individuals and, and NGOs and private companies and government uh, agencies na, na naggagawa ng paraan para magkatulong-tulong. Bless them, Lord God. Bless every one of them. And we continue to lift up to you, O Lord, that in the next few days, we will receive more good news. Thank you so much, Lord God. And Father, as we end our time together, let your presence just go with us, Lord. Father God, let your spirit just come upon us, Lord. Help us, Lord God, have that greater thirst for you, greater hunger for you, O Lord God, that in the next few days, we will find ourselves drawing near to you, Lord. Maraming salamat po once again. 
we give back to you all glory and honor and praise. And as we end our time, Lord, let your blessing be upon every one of us. Brothers and sisters, let us now receive the blessing of our God the Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen and Amen. Yay! Hey. Uh, we just ended another time together. Nawa, you will receive more of God's blessings, more of God's presence in your life until we see each other again. Tomorrow, we will resume our prayer gathering. So stay tuned uh, uh, every 7 p.m. Uh, for our prayer gatherings until Saturday. And on Sunday, 10 a.m. ulit tayo, mga kapatid, for our worship celebration. Again, kung, gusto, kung anong gusto niyo mangyari sa buho ko, Hayaan ako na lang humaba ng ganyan o kaya magpagupit na ako taking my chances do sa kusino man magugupit sa akin write your comment below okay say god bless you mga kapatid take care